When devising your digital marketing strategy, it is vital to understand the different types of media that can be used to communicate with your target audience. Knowing the differences between each type of media, paid, owned or earned, and how to combine them is critical to the success of your strategy. So in this video, we'll be discussing what those different types of media are while giving you some examples. And as Brito says, your social media strategy should not only include one of those media, but all of them in order to be successful. So media online can be divided into three categories. Paid media, earned media and owned media. Let's talk first about the most obvious and easiest type of media that a company can create and use. Owned media. But what exactly is owned media? Let's look at several examples. Owned media is any online property that you control and is unique to your brand. One of the most common examples of owned media is a company's website. When you create your own media channel, you control the content on them. You decide what type of text, pictures and videos that you put on them. Own media is also free, even if there is an investment in time and labor in creating something valuable. A website is the most common type of owned media, but it could also be any other social media presence, like your Facebook page and your Instagram account. You decide what pictures and videos you want to put on these channels. And you do not need to pay Facebook or Instagram when creating an account. This is completely free. And any other social media account is also considered as own media. Here, for example, Pinterest or Twitter accounts are the owned media channels of the Cassandra Hotel. A company's LinkedIn account is also an owned media channel. And the more owned media channels you have, the more chances you have to extend your brand presence in the digital sphere. And it can also be a channel on YouTube, for example. I like this example for Marriott Hotels in India very much, where three concierges met together and decided to film themselves, explaining to the audience all the places that someone can visit when visiting Mumbai. They created the video and decided on the content, and they uploaded it for free on their YouTube channel. This is a great example of a hotel chain leveraging a known media channel to explain to a potential visitor why the destination is a great place to visit. And finally, another possible owned media channel that could be used by a hotel to communicate to its target market is a blog. The Four Seasons magazine is a great example of an owned media that is used not so much to sell the product, but rather to talk about useful information around luxury travel. This online magazine is very similar to a traditional travel magazine like the Condé Nast Traveler that offers travel inspiration to its reader. But the Four Seasons magazine is free to read and there is very little effort to sell anything but for that call to action button on the very top of the page. So creating a blog is free, but the effort in creating the content is not. The time and the labor investment is creating a blog slash magazine like that are worth noting. Now that we understand what owned media is, let's discuss what paid media is. Let's define it and show some examples. Paid media is often considered as traditional advertising where you need to pay for putting your poster on a billboard. Or pay a magazine to put your advert in it, or a TV, or on the radio. We know about advertising because it's everywhere. Companies are paying for putting their message in places where customers can see them. The disadvantage with paid media is that it's often ignored by consumers because there are simply too many advertising messages everywhere. When we are talking about online channels, paid media can be found on banner ads, like on this blog, for example. The owners of the blog post get paid for having that space on their website where companies can advertise for their product. And then if a visitor clicks on one of these banners, it will bring them to the company's website where they can purchase the product. But advertising can also be found on search engines like Google. When a customer is putting a search term, the first results tend to be paid results. You can recognize that with the little ad sign next to the URL. Companies are paying Google to put the link to their website on top of the search engine results. If a visitor clicks on the link, the company will then pay for the number of clicks. We call that PPC advertising, pay per click. And of course, search also happens on mobile. And company can also pay Google to have their website put on top of the search result based on their search. Paid media can also be used on social media and social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as a user, you can distinguish when a company has paid to put their advertising message in someone's newsfeed when you can see the sponsored or promoted note within the post. Here, the companies have paid Facebook, Twitter, Instagram to have their post appear to a target audience they have selected. Paid media can also take the form of sponsorship. 
where a brand decides to finally support an online show like a podcast or a YouTube show in return for mention of the brand's name in the show directly, or on the show notes, or even directly in the background of the video, like what you can see here on this video sponsored by Oreo Cookies. You would normally use paid media to create brand awareness or for new customer acquisition. The advantages of using paid media is that it can scale quickly and easily. If you have a message you want the masses to see today, paid media is the right channel through which to do that. Earn media channels are any media channels that you must earn access to by having stuff worth talking about. Anywhere someone talks about how awesome you are is earn media. Traditionally, earned media have been mainstream media outlets like TV, news program, newspaper, radio, talk shows, magazine. For example, here, a journalist visited the restaurant and wrote a review. This is earned media. But today, in our digital world, earned media is any social media reviews like on TripAdvisor or Booking.com. You are earning the good review thanks to how you created and managed a positive experience for your guests. And this can also happen on any social media. The customer here was very satisfied with their experience at the Roger Smith Hotel and she mentioned it on Twitter for all her followers to see. And sometimes a review can be visual. A customer here is happy with the beautiful dish that he just received and he decides to share a picture on Instagram. This is also considered as earned media as it is a positive endorsement of their experience and this may encourage their friends and followers to want to try the same restaurant. But earned media can also sometimes be negative. The restaurant here has heard a negative review because the quality of the product did not match the expectation of the customer. Recommendations from friends to friend has always existed and we call this word of mouth or short warm. But here when talking about online recommendations or electronic word of mouth, we will summarize it as e warm. And earned media can also be a complaint, a complaint on a social media account here for example. We have an unhappy customer who went on the W Hotel Facebook page to lodge a complaint. The interesting aspect of this example is that even if the hotel is answering back, right afterwards two other guests answered the post to defend the brand. They have a positive experience and they want people to see. So the negative earned media from one customer has created two positive earned media from two other guests who have decided to talk about their positive experience. This is another great example of negative earned media that has been really well managed and ended up in a positive earned media. After a bad experience in a hospital in the middle of the night, the customers decided to complain about it on the Facebook page of the organization. But what you can see here is that the customer went back to her post and corrected it later. She explained how well the hospital took care of the complaint and managed her bad experience to create a positive one. This teaches us the importance of not only posting content but to also listen to what customers are saying on social media so that we can catch negative experiences and improve the product that we are delivering. So earned media is about posts from the general public in the form of reviews, shared experiences, complaints and so on. But on social media, earned media can also be created from influencers. When Paris Hilton shares her experience from a stay at the Trisara in Phuket on Instagram, thousands of followers see the pictures and like it. And this creates awareness about the product and even maybe a desire to buy the product for the people who saw it. And here are two other examples of celebrities sharing their use of a product on Instagram. And this creates earned media for both Calvin Klein and Coca-Cola, respectively. But it is very difficult to get those celebrities to post pictures about your organization, especially if you do not pay them. But someone does not need to be a celebrity in order to become an influencer. You might have someone who has created their own blog or their own YouTube channel and they have maybe a thousand, ten thousand fans and followers. We call them micro-influencers. They are everyday consumers but they have a bigger following and are able to drive higher levels of engagement because of that. And a travel blogger would be giving much more details about the destination and maybe your property, which might result in higher levels of conversion. So to summarize, Earned media can be created in three different ways. The first way is traditional media, like newspapers, radio, TV, magazines, where earned media is created in the form of articles, documentaries and reviews. Earned media can be created with the general public, like customers and fans, as they share their experience online in the form of social media posts, reviews and so on. And finally, earned media can be created through influencers and micro-influencers as they share their experience as well through social media posts, blogs, reviews. 
but the reach on this type of earned media will be bigger as their numbers of followers are much larger than regular consumers. Although each of these channels play a critical role in your content and social media strategy, the real power is when you can integrate two or more of the channels into one plan. And this is what we'll be seeing in our next video where we'll discuss what converged media is and we'll discuss what new type of media is created when two types of media overlap. If you want to read more about the topic, I would highly recommend you to read those two resources around paid, earned and owned media. So see you in the next session where we'll be discussing everything there is to know around converged media.